The first week of Challengers Cups has ended and we fell short both times coming 196 and 152. You need top 20 in order to quality elite division to play against the pros for money and we aren't quite at that level. I'll be showing you what we need to work on in order to change that. You may be having similar issues where you're super close to qualifying for the next level but you have little mistakes stopping you so hopefully you can learn something from this video and perform better in the next cup. The first mistake is using chrome splashes, more specifically choosing when and when not to use them. They can be such a useful item for saving builds and getting ahead of zone quick but if you use them incorrectly your game could go bad fast. We would sometimes use them on a rotate that we really didn't need to and could have just ran in and built a low and get griefed because of it. It hasn't led to too many deaths but it's cost a decent amount of mats and shield. In endgame we struggled with using blobs properly so we vied Kami and Seti to see how they use them. We learned that they would go off a ramp to stay on high layers and get out after a short period of time to avoid getting grief but still gain distance. This was the safest most consistent way to use blobs and we've been using it since but still find ourselves in positions where we mess them up and it costs our entire endgame. The more we practice in scrims the more comfortable we'll get using them and learn when we can and can't use them and we'll be making it much further in endgame. Second mistake is running in on pre-edits. Pre-edits are one of the most commonly used ways to get refreshes, however when going for them, either run in on them fully committing or stand on a bad angle causing me to take a lot of damage. This means we have to back up and take time for me to heal and miss out on a refresh opportunity. If I position myself better and I'm aware of all the edits that aren't mine, we'll be able to successfully pre-edit teams and get all of our refreshes. The third thing is staying too high of a layer for too long. We'll be tarping on the high layer where it's hard to get refreshes since no one is around and then we'll drop too late with few mats and die trying to get a refresh with little than nothing. There will also be times where heights will spray at us and we'll continue staying on that layer instead of dropping lower. Once we get to around 500 mats we need to drop layers to allow ourselves enough time to get a refresh without making a desperate play that could ruin our game. On the topic of tarps, I need to take over a tarp when Leaf is healing or runs out of hards instead of dropping a mat since that slows us down and could get us cut off. In this example, Leaf got hit hard and had to heal. Instead of tarping ahead or scouting a rotate, I just sat there doing absolutely nothing. Not gathering any information or getting us into a better position, just wasting time. Another example of this is when Leaf took heavy damage again and instead of taking note of our surroundings and scouting our next rotate, I was waiting for him to heal so I could chug splash. And this led to our death since we rotated straight into some builds and died to zone. If I was looking around while he was healing, I could have noticed that if we edited up and went to the left, we would have had a free rotate instead of chroming under some builds and storm. I'm starting to do a better job of taking over tarps now, but I need to make sure I'm not just tarping on autopilot. I need to be aware of what layer we're on and switch if we're too high or too low and be aware of when I'm running out of hard mats and all that. Last thing we need to work on is taking height. In challengers, you need top 20 in order to qualify to elite, so being consistent and getting top 5s and winning games is super important. If you watch any of the qualifying teams, you'll see them going for height every game and winning or getting a top 3. We attempted to go for height a couple of times, however we would always call it off since we didn't want to risk dying and wasting 20 minutes for basically no points. But watching all the qualifying teams made us realize if we want to take height, we just have to commit to it. They will ramp height or sneak up under them and just take it like it's nothing and win the game. Nothing complicated at all, just the confidence to overtake the other height team. If we get better at taking height, we'll have no problem holding it and turning it into a top 2 situation and give us the boost of points we need to make it to Elite. I made a video covering how pros do this, the link is in the description. If we fix our mistakes and apply everything we learned in the cups, we should be in Elite in no time. I'll be streaming all the tournaments live on Twitch, the link is in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you learned something new, be sure to drop a like or subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.